Okay, so this is the antibuclet for response regulation, 4.5 additional biology. Again, there's an knowledge organiser which you should be using to help answer the questions alongside this video. John stands at a pedestrian crossing. When it's safe to cross, the crossing makes high-pitched sound and a light flashes green. Name the two stimuli that John detects are the sense organs involved. So the stimulus is our light and our sound because we've got a high-pitched sound and um, light flashing. Sense organ for light is the eyes and for sound is ears. In what form does the electrical impulse travel along a neuron? And then which part of the neuron system processes information from neurons? And it is the brain. Don't know why I missed up that answer. Okay, Gav takes a penalty kick. He watches the moving ball speed towards the goal. The list below describes how the nervous system takes part in some of the above events, but not in the correct order. Place the five statements above in the correct order. So we have three. The light from the moving ball strikes the receptor cells in his eyes. The receptor cells respond to the stimulus. Electrical impulses are produced. The impulses pass along neurons and the central nervous system processes the information. The eye is a sense organ. Stick the name of one other sense organ and the stimulus it detects. So we've got the nose and it can detect chemicals. You could have done um, ears and sound, etc. But I've just chose a different one for you. Complete the sentence about the human nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. They can be any way round. The diagram below shows the knee-jerk response, which is a reflex action. Apart from being very fast, it one other feature of all reflex action. They're protective and automatic. Give one other reflex action, which occurs in the body. So we've got blinking to protect the eye. You've got pulling away your arm or your leg to prevent harm and your pupil change to protect your eye from the amount of light it can take in. To find a reflex action, describe the reflex arc involved in the blinking response to a flashing light. So the stimulus is detected by receptor cells in the eye. The stimulus is the light. The receptor cells pass electrical impulses to the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron sends the impulse to the relay neuron in the spinal cord. The impulse is then passed to a motor neuron, and then it travels to an effector, which always tends to be a muscle or a gland, to cause an effect. The diagram shows a pathway taken by nerve impulses, which help bring about changes in the diameter of a pupil. On the diagram, you use an arrow to show a label. To use an arrow to label the motor neuron. So the motor neuron. Oop, missed that question. Is this a, is our motor neuron? The stimulus which causes the change in the inner diameter of the pupil is our light. The receptor which receives the stimuli is our retina. The effector is the iris, that's the muscle. Describe how the de decrease in diameter of a pupil demonstrates the three most important features. It's fast, protective and automatic. Diagrams A and B below show the skin under two different environmental conditions. Which of the diagrams show the skin on hot conditions? It's A, because we can see the sweat that is being produced. Gives a big clue. Give two reasons for your answer. The erector muscle, which is here, is, um, is relaxed, so the hair is lying flat, and sweat is produced and released from the sweat pore. If blood vessels have been drawn on the diagrams, blood vessels in the skin in diagram B would be narrower than in A. Explain how this helps control the body temperature because less blood flows, which reduces heat loss from the surface of the skin for your second mark. State how structure X on the diagram causes the hair to appear as, as it does in diagram B. It's because the erector muscle contracts, which causes the hair to stand up. The diagram shows a section through the skin, label parts A and B. So A is the hair and B is our sweat gland. The diagram, the graph shows the body temperature of a player during the course of a rugby match. So on the information here, you can see during half time, his body temperature is really, really high and it decreases rapidly in the 20 minutes or so they are, um, he's on half time. So two responses made by the skin to cause a change in the body temperature observed between 3.40 and 4.10. That's his half time. So basal dilation. And the hair erector muscle relaxes because he's hot. He's trying to cool himself down. So a vasodilation 
and the rectum muscle is relaxed. You could have put sweat in as well. Explain how the narrowing of the blood vessels in the skin help maintain temperature in cold conditions. So now I'm doing the opposite. So again, less blood is flowing through the blood vessels, so less heat is lost. The diagram below shows the hairs on the surface of the skin of a cat at different air temperatures. Name the structures in the skin that raise each hair to the position of diagram A. We have the erector muscle. Explain why the skin in diagram A loses less heat than in B because the erector muscle contracts, causing the, skin, the hair to stand up. It traps air between the hair, which is an insulator, so it traps the heat. State two other ways in which the skin reduces heat loss, so vasoconstriction, narrowing of blood vessels, and no sweating. Alivi and Sean identical meals. After the meal, the concentration of glucose in their blood was measured at regular intervals over the next 180 minutes. The graph below shows the results obtained. The meal both Alivi and Sean ate contained no added glucose or other sugars. Suggest the type of food the meal could have had. It was a carbohydrate because the starch is broken down into glucose. It's important that the concentration of glucose in the blood remains between 3.5 and 7.5. Explain how the level of glucose in Alivi's blood is reduced after 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, the pancreas has released insulin, which converts glucose into glycogen. And then we could say it is stored in the liver. And it reduces that blood glucose back down to normal. What evidence shown on the graph suggests that Sean is suffering from diabetes while her blood glucose levels continue to rise and they don't return to the normal range, they don't go back down to the normal before her meal. A student tested an artificial urine sample for the presence of glucose. In the table below, circle one correct chemical test, the process and the colour change. So the chemical test for glucose is Benedict's. The process, you'd mix the urine sample and heat strongly. You've got to heat it strongly and quickly. And then we get brick red, or we could say orange if glucose is present. Last question. It's important to keep concentration of glucose in the blood constant. The flow diagram shows how this happens. What term would you use to describe the control mechanism shown in the diagram? It is negative feedback. Name the hormones X and Y shown in the diagram. X is insulin because it's in it. X is insulin because it's decreasing blood glucose and Y is glucagon. Name the organ of the body which stores glycogen, the liver. If the body is unable to change excess glucose into glycogen, the glucose is excreted in urine. Describe how you would test um, a urine sample for glucose. But it's just our glucose test, a Benedict's test. We'd heat the urine sample and the Benedict's will turn brick red or again orange. Expective observations, um, if glucose is present, brick red or orange, and if glucose is absent, it, the Benedict's would remain blue.